wickedness, brother. So that, that, that's nastiness. You think you think you think that's what means have fun? Come to the house of God, and have fun. Worship the Lord in spirit and the truth, and have fun. That's real fun. God's spirit gives you real fun. Before I came to God, I thought it was boring. I thought it was lame. I, I gave it a chance. I, I'm having a lot of fun walking with the Lord. A lot of fun. I'm going to say, come out of darkness. Come out. Get out of, of, of the devil's grasp. Get joy in your life. You have real fun, real joy doing things of God. Because a lot of people get drunk and the next next thing you know they have they have they have hangovers the next day. They have regrets the next day. And they wake up in the bed and they, they look over the shoulder and they don't know who that person is that's in bed with them. They have regrets and shame now. Don't have regrets and shame. Walk with the Lord. And God will help you to walk in wisdom. So you can have all these regrets, all these shame. Shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have said that. Let God lead you. Not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. Not in strife. Too much strife. Too much conflict. Issues in the world. Because we need the peace of God in our life. Too much strife. Envying. We're envying that other person because of who they have. Or I want their spouse, or I want their money, or I want their car, or I want their clothes, or work. Work for it. Stop being envious. We be, we envy, and, and, and you don't let God deal with that. It causes too much problems. Don't be envious. Be grateful for that person. Somebody got some success? Be grateful. Be thankful. Be thankful for that person's success. And you work to, to build your success. You work for that. Too much envying. And vying for position. Vying for places. Work for your own. And when God promotes you, promote you at the right time. Who over there is being envious today? Who, who over there needs the Lord today? Verse 14, Romans 13, verse 14. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put it on. What you got on today? You, yeah, yeah, you probably got on some, some Aeropostale, some Nike, some, some true religions. Got on your necklace, your, your ring, some, some, some fancy suit, some fancy dress. God said, what's in your soul? What's, what, what about your character? What, what's clothing your character today? Put on the Lord Jesus. If you don't, you put on, you put on Satan. Put them on. Put them on in your thinking. Put them on in your living. Put them on. Say, God, clothe me. With righteousness, clothe me. With purity, clothe me. With honesty, clothe me. In my right mind, clothe me. Clothe me. With your spirit. Praise the Lord. Make not provision for the flesh. To fulfill the lust thereof. Don't make provision for the flesh. Don't make it easier to sin. A lot of people have make it very easy for them to sin. In the Bible, King David was, was looking at a woman too, too much. And it led to lying, stealing, murder. Because he made provision for the flesh. He kept looking and looking and looking. And that's, that's a lot of men's downfall today. It's too much looking. Too much staring. Whatever your eyes see you want. Captivated by your eyes. Too much. Got an issue with drinking alcohol? Why you at the bar? Why you at the bars? Why you at the bars? You, 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 too much drinking alcohol? Why you at the bars for? Too much smoking 
your coke, your 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 weedy or your your, your dope. Why why are you hanging out with, with those kind of people for? Get around, get away from those people. Change up the environment. Don't provide occasion for the flesh to sin. Want to go? Want to want to work out more and get your body right? Go to the gym. Get around some avid trainer. Get get around some people who want to exercise and take care of their bodies. You gotta change up your environment. You got to not go to those places that will tempt you to sin. You got issue with gambling, too much wasting of your money. Stop going to Las Vegas. Stop, go, stop going to, the, to those strip joints. Get out of there. Come out. Get out. Don't make provision for the flesh. But you want to make provision for the spirit. If you want to grow holy, you got to read this word. You got to get in the word of God. Stop reading up those, up those romantic novels, those fantasy novels. Busy wasting your time looking at stuff on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and wasting your, your, your mind on a lot of things that's not feeding your spirit. Get into God's Word. Read what, what the Word of God says. Feeding your mind with all sorts of garbage music, rock and roll music, rap music with dirty sexual lyrics. Get your mind cleaned up. Put some new things. Make, make provision for the spirit to enter into your, into, your, into your temple, into your body, into your mind. Get around some belief. Get around some 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 loving people. If you want to talk to me, I'm right here. I talk to you right now. I, I don't care who you are. I don't care where you're from. I'm right here to talk to. The church is out here. God's people's out here, I'm trying to reach out to the to the community. We don't play games. We're serious about this. God wants to see you saved and set free. You know, got an issue with, 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 with buying expensive things. Stay out of those malls. Sometimes you, you probably got to leave your, your, your credit cards at home and just bring the cash. Be overspending too much. Got to got to provide. Have provision for the spirit, not the flesh. You got to guard yourself, brothers and sisters. Whatever will lead you to holiness, do it. Provide, make provision for the spirit. Watch some gospel program on TV. A lot of nice things on television. A lot of things on television nowadays is, is, is total foolishness, satanic, bring you further and further away from the Lord. You need to be selective in what you watch. You need to be very careful. Don't allow anything into your brain. Nobody, nobody can go right up in your bank account. Nobody can go right up in your house. What's your purpose? Why are you here? What are you doing here? Who are you? And if the person's purpose is not right, then you're going to say, no, can't get in. Make provision for the spirit. Don't be, don't be alone. That, that person you know you're very attracted to. Don't be a, alone with that person. Don't be alone. Because you know feelings are going to enter. And they're going to end up doing something that you're going to regret. That person, not your spouse. Why are you alone with that person? Feelings will erupt. Next thing you know, we've got a baby from somebody else. That's not your, not your wife or your husband. Because you, you, you allow provision for the flesh, not the spirit. Joseph... He actually ran away in the Bible. He ran away. He said, let me get out of here before I get in trouble. A lot of people stay in forbidden zones. And don't get out. The time in life where you, you, you got to be very careful where you are and be very wise. That's what when you're driving, there's certain areas. They're called construction zones. And, it's, and it says to reduce your speed. If you don't, there's, there's going to be problems. It could be an accident. Because the area there is a very sensitive area. God bless you. God bless you. It's a very sensitive area. So you got to take your time and drive through those, through those, through those construction zones. But the Bible talks about in this world we got to walk circumspectly. Walk carefully in this world. Because if you don't walk carefully, there's going to be damage. There's going to be danger. There's going to be destruction. There's going to be a problem. Walk carefully in this world.
Be very careful. Be, be, dil be diligent. Be vigilant. Provision. Make provision for the spirit. Give God room to work. And how you spend your time, your priorities. You make priority, whatever you want to make a priority out of. If, if your priority is earning money, having sex, getting drunk, then you're going to go and do that, very likely. What's your priority? Whatever you're going to watch, listen to, that's the priority. How about you make God your priority today? Make God your number one priority today. Let it work in your mind, your relationships, your finances, your health. Let help you to get back into the Word of God and study the Word of God. Get into a good, a good Bible, Bible believing church and be fed. Let your spirit be fed. Let it be nourished. Let it be strengthened. Let it be reinforced. Let your spirit be reinforced. Don't reinforce your fleshly nature. Whenever they make certain shoes, they, they reinforce the shoes with, with, with certain materials. Help it to, to, to be stronger. When, when, it's, when it's going through the stress of walking all, every day, they reinforce the shoes. Buildings are reinforced. Cars are reinforced. Certain things are reinforced for greater structural integrity. Are you reinforcing your spirit with the word of God? Reinforce your spirit. So that when hard times come, you stand strong. If you, if you got questions of the Bible that bother you, get answers. I had questions. I had answers. I had questions. I needed answers, so I reinforced it by getting answers to my to my questions. If you got questions, I, I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability. You reinforce when when you, when you go shopping and 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 the food, your groceries might crumble. Under the pressure, because it's, it's too much, the bag might, might break. You add another bag underneath that bag for, for more strength for the bag to hold your groceries. If you want to be stronger in your spirit, your mind, your health, your finances, you got to reinforce that with the right things. So what are you reinforcing your, your time with, your mind with? Because if you, if, you, if you reinforce, when you reinforce your mind with spiritual things... You'll be strong in the spirit. Bible reading, gospel programming, gospel music. Reinforce your mind with that which is powerful. Spirit, spirit filled. So, God bless you. God bless you, bro. Stay strong. Stay strong. Reinforce it. When you're driving and, and, and the tire begins to wear out, if you don't reinforce the tire... With the proper material, when you're driving, it's going to be a, a, an accident. Reinforce. Praise the Lord. I want you to be reinforced today. God wants you to know that He loves you. I'm here to call out. I'm here to call it sinners to repentance. Christ spoke about love. He also said, repent, turn away from your wicked ways, because it will lead to death and dysfunction and chaos in your family, in your mind. Be rehabilitated. God is the ultimate rehabilitator. God is the ultimate therapist. God is the ultimate mason worker. God is the ultimate architect. God is the ultimate doctor. Let God construct your character. You've been broken? I see you've been broken. God can repair you. Come out of sins, whoremongers. Come out of sin. Come out of sin, prostitutes. Come out of sin, drug dealers. Come out of sin, homosexuals. Come out of sin, murderers, liars, and thieves. Come out. Come out of your sin. Let God wash you. Let God wash the spirit today. Say, my son, give me that heart. Let your eyes observe my ways. What are your eyes observing? I said, what are your eyes observing? Let your eyes observe things which is holy and good and pure. A lot of your eyes observe violence on the TV shows, sexual things, pornography. What are your eyes observing? 
Let your eyes behold. Look at things that is that is that is wonderful. They say that we, we take time to look at the trees and the flowers and the bodies of water, lakes, rivers. You you get relaxed. You, your mood changes. We look at nature. Your body releases feel-good hormones, endorphins. We look at nature. But every day looking at buildings and cars and phones and computers and God said, take time to look at nature. Look, look at the clouds. Look at the sky. Look at the, God's wonderful nature. And you, your mood will be changed. It will be relaxed. Everything God has made is good. The natural creation of the world. Take time to look at things that is right. Positive, beneficial to your spirit. My Lord. Did God help me to look at, help, help my eyes to not look at worthless things. I want to look at beneficial things. Marvelous things. What are you looking at in your phone? What are you looking at in the TV? What are you looking at? Is it bringing you closer to God? If it's not bringing you closer to God, I say discard it. Evaluate it. If it's not bringing you closer to God, discard it. It's no good for you. And whatever brings you closer to God will give you the best health. Holistic health. Holistic health. Praise the Lord. God said, which above all things, that you may prosper and be in good health. Even as your soul prospers. God is concerned about holistic health. Your, 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 your physical health. Your mental health. Your social health. Your financial health, every aspect of your health, God is concerned about. And God will help you. God will strengthen you to help you in these areas. He said, he sent his word that when we are weak, he is strong. Praise the Lord, he is strong in our time of weakness, in our time of trouble. In a time of perplexities and fear, he is here. He, he is a healing bomb. Nobody heals like the Holy Spirit does. Let him, let him heal your, your, your soul in the, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you, brother. God bless you. The Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. Keep God first place. The Lord loves you. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong in the Lord. Stay strong. Lord loves you. Stay, stay strong, my brother. Blessings, blessing. Thank you so much. Lord says.